bringing you the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Ever wonder about the inner workings of the artist studio? Well, you can see them up close and personal this May in Bucks County. Hello again and thanks for joining us. I'm Jen Boyette and with me today is Lisa Naples. She's the founder of the Elephant's Eye Studio Tour and today we're talking about some artists and their art. Thanks so much for being with us today. Pleasure, thank you. Before we get too much into it, tell us about the Elephant's Eye and where that name comes from. Well, part of what we're trying to do with this tour is to um, really showcase some of the vital art that's going on in the county right now. And, um, you know, the Bucks County is known for a long time for being a place where artists live, and that's largely because of the artists that were here in the 20s and 30s and 40s, like Rogers and Hammerstein. So this is a nod to Rogers and Hammerstein, corn as high as an elephant's eye. In Oklahoma, right? <laughs> From the play Oklahoma, right? Right. Wonderful. I love that. I love that uh, name. Let's talk about the idea and where it came from because this is the first time you're attempting it to have people come out and see what it is actually like to be an artist and see what their right. studios look like and how they work and how they create. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and you know, when I was a, a kid growing up and wanting to be an artist, I, I am a ceramic artist, um, I had no role models for, for that. It didn't even occur to me that I could build a life with art at the center. So one of the purposes, part of our mission, is to create access for young and old alike and make it free. We're a, we're a nonprofit organization, so um, the tour will be free to everyone. And so people can come out, whether they're collectors or just people interested in art or young people wanting to be artists, they can talk to the artists uh, about their creative process, see their studios and how they're, how they're run. Right. It's a, so it's five days through May and people can uh, I guess do a car. It's a driving tour. A driving so you have tour. to go to actually see where the studio is. Right. And as you said, you're one of the artists on the tour. You brought some of your work with you today. Yes. Yes. So I guess your specialty is ceramics. Then. It is right. Okay. We have a bird feeder and a cake plate. Right. Both very beautiful. I'm not sure people at home can appreciate the artwork that went into it, but in person they really are beautiful works of art. Art. Thank you. And heavy too. Ceramics. Uh, it's, yeah. That's heavy. <laughs> it weighs <laughs> it a lot to haul around. It's a physically engaging right. business. Right. Yeah. It is. Are, are other artists on the tour kind of similar uh, in what they do? Are they ceramics, uh, sculptures, painters? I, actually, there are no painters this year, but, mm -hmm. but we'll hope to find that special painter in mm -hmm. the future. Um, we have sculptors. We have, um, um, let's see, there's a wood turner, um, David Ellsworth, who's a legendary wood turner. I'm thrilled that he's on the tour. There's a stone sculptor, Stephen Snyder. There's um, Steve Tobin, who's, um, whose work is known around the globe. So the thing that holds everybody together is the vitality of their work, the integrity of their work. Um, not so much whether they're known internationally or simply in the county. Um, so what you'll see when you take the tour, it's self-paced so people can spend as much time as they want at each studio and there is a map on the website <laughs> for people to find it. Right. Um, and the artists will be on hand to answer questions? Absolutely. The mm -hmm. artists will be on hand the whole time to answer questions to anybody who has, to, who has them. Okay, so this is uh, the weekend of May 9th and then again the weekend of May 17th. Correct. Right. right. Now is it something you have to sign up for ahead of time? It is free though. It's right? free and okay. open to the public and, and we don't, you don't have to sign up ahead of time. Um, so just come start at any studio you like, whichever one, if it strikes your fancy. And this is a first time event. This was your idea. It's, and right. So I'm manifesting a dream here. Um, and, and with that comes a lot of, lot of, lot of hard work this first year. Um, I've been fortunate enough to have in kind help from Ampersand Design and from Furia Rubel Communications for our PR. Ampersand does the print and, and web work. Um, but we're still looking for sponsors. Um, we we want to keep it free and open to the public. And since we're a nonprofit, we're we're very much bootstrapping it this first year. But we're hoping it'll be something the whole county will be really proud of. And so, if anybody's interested in in supporting this kind of a effort, they should just go to the website, elephantsidetour.org. Right, because you can always use more help, and then hopefully yeah. do it again next year and the years to come. Absolutely, that's right. a long term vision we have to make it grow. Okay, wonderful. The Elephant's Eye Studio Tour. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. I'm Jen Boyette. This has been Comcast Newsmakers, and with me today was Lisa Naples. She's the founder of the Elephant's Eye Studio Tour, and this has been an ex exclusive production of Comcast, Comcast Newsmakers.